When it comes to Godzilla movies, I do prefer a strong plot and characters over destruction scenes, but I tell you what, some of these destruction scenes are pretty incredible. This is just a small compilation featuring shots from different films, appreciating the practical and special effects that went into these older films. You'll notice that the newer ones are not included in this because they rely heavily on CGI, and I'm just not much of a CGI fan. I think the practical effects give it actually a more realistic look, so that when you don't go for that hyper-realistic computer graphic stuff, that tends to actually make it look more fake. I like this, see where he's about to hit that tower there, and it looks real. You know that those things are actually blowing up. No, they're not buildings, but they are exploding, which is pretty cool. And people did suffer and <laughs> have a lot of pain in this labor for creating these scenes, so I have a lot of respect for practical effects. And just looking at some of this, it gives you chills, and I'll actually pause the movie sometimes on some of these scenes, with these stuff it just blows up, and it looks awesome. At some point, I'll probably do a video covering why I like practical effects over CGI, and I understand that CGI is probably cheaper and probably also a lot safer to use, but I do believe that if you're going to make an artistic film, which Godzilla usually falls in line with that, or at least the first one did, then why not take those artistic liberties and suffer for your art? I mean, really, suffer for it. Budget-wise, Physically, not saying you should have dangerous environments or strive for that, but I do think the practical effects just give it a raw, realistic, in-your-face kind of edge. That you could almost reach out and touch those effects. They have a tangible quality to them that CGI just doesn't have. And you know when you're watching a CGI-heavy film, that's not real, and it actually kind of sucks you out of the movie. It takes you out of the experience. So I am all for these practical effects, and the little special effects they add in afterwards, of course. But I'll forgive certain CGI shots like this one. 